Welcome to Q&A, Social Security Disability Today. This program is brought to you by the Reeves Law Firm, representing you and your Social Security and Disability needs. If you have a problem or questions regarding Social Security and Disability, call attorney Anthony Reeves. Here's your host, attorney Anthony Reeves. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going. How should I approach my doctor about requesting medical records? Okay, I've seen this happen before. People go in and they say, Doc, I need to copy my medical records. And then all of a sudden they get charged or they'll say, what you need them for? My attorney needs them. And, oh, well, tell them they need to send us a release and that's what we'll send them. Oh, and then it's like, oh my gosh. And so what I have found is this is what I have now started telling people. Okay. When you are talking to your doctor, tell your doctor, because they, they're used to, most docs are used to getting requests for medical records from Social Security. Just tell them, listen, I have the responsibility of proving that I am disabled. The only way I can do it is to get copies of medical records to provide to Social Security. I don't really have the money to pay for medical records. If there's any way that you can work with me, whether it be through a reduce, reduced cost or maybe giving me a courtesy copy so that I can ensure that the Social Security Administration has everything they need in order to make an informed decision about my case, I would be very appreciative. Now, you're sitting here going, Attorney Reeves, ain't nowhere in hell I remember all that you just said. I say, okay, well, then let me make it even simpler. Tell them this. I got to prove that I'm disabled. And I can't do it unless I have your medical records. So can I get a copy of the records so I can give them to Social Security? It's just like that. And really, that's that's really what you want to tell them. Because a lot, I can't tell you the number of times I'll have people saying, well, they're saying because I have an attorney, my attorney needs to ask for them. You need to let them know, listen, I can have my attorney, but I know what you're going to do. You're going to charge my attorney. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to charge me. So you think you're doing something by basically sending them the medical records with an invoice asking for money, but you're basically charging me for those same records that you could just give to me for free. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this is not trying to be funny. Medical doctors are businesses too. You know, you figure these are docs, they keep medical files on all kind of people. So you're asking them basically to you know, generate documents that, of course, cost printing, ink, time, and service, things of that nature and so forth. But I tell people this. Don't spring it on the docs. Just ask when you say, listen, there may come a point in time where, especially when you're going for treatment, just say, listen, there may come a point in time where I may need copies of my medical records. What's your policy? Because I need to prove that I'm disabled. I don't have a whole lot of money, and I need to know if I need to start asking family and friends for a couple of dollars so that I can... Um, get copies of my medical records. You'll be surprised. A lot of providers will work with you. But what happens is that people, they leave and they come back later. I need all my records. I'm like, oh, don't, don't do that. Just tell your providers in advance. Hey, I'm applying for Social Security. I got to prove that I'm disabled. The only way I can do it is with medical records from you. So can you provide me a courtesy copy so I don't have to pay for it? Because a long, that would go a long way towards helping me out. Trust me, it's all about the presentation. And these little things in the way you present to the docs will let them know what they need you to do for you in order to assist you. Because it might be just something as simple as you're going in for a routine visit. They ask to make a copy of it. And when you're there and they hand it to you, boom, you got a copy. As opposed to waiting two or three months later and there's all these records and they're like, oh, man, we're going to charge you. Just whatever it takes, remember, talk to your doctor to find out what needs to happen so that you can get the records you need in order to prove 